It is Friday. Yes, yes it Friday. is. Friday. <laughs> what is up with that? Well, so you know, Maco partnered with Milwaukee. Yeah. So we're an authorized distributor in Milwaukee. Sure. So we have a lot of customers who already had Milwaukee and they wanted us to kind of warranty theirs out. Which, you know, it's no big deal. It's a pretty straightforward process. I put in the serial number, put in their name, and it tells me if it's under warranty or not. So, one of these batteries, and I'm gonna put them right here so okay. you can see them. One of these batteries is a fake, and one of them is real. We sent both of them off. One was... Oh, look at them, so I can tell oh. the difference. You go right ahead. We had somebody that was a diehard Milwaukee and he got it wrong. So as you can see, there is a serial number on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And there's a serial number on the bottom of that one. That's the fake. This is the fake? I think so. You think this one's the fake? I think so. This one's the real one. Really? Yes. So, I was looking at the print, how it's done on the bottom of it. Yes. Like the sticker. Whoever did the fake actually did a better job on the sticker. Yes. So I typed it into Milwaukee's website. It popped up that it was under warranty. So whoever did this one, we don't know where it's out of it. Don't tell us where it was manufactured at, as in what state. Right. He said he bought it off Amazon, which you know you can get in Milwaukee anywhere. And he said, I bought it and it was in this wrapping. Like this right here. Okay. So I was like, sure, you know, okay, whatever, I'll send it off. We got both of the batteries back. This one, of course, is our good one. This is our bad one. And they sent us with this lovely letter saying that it was fake. So I, we had to go back to him and say, look, we know you bought it off Amazon because he told us that. We know you got it out of racking, but it's not real. And he was like, well, how is it not real? So Michael starts looking into it. The serial number has a key factor on it. Even though it popped up on Milwaukee's screen, it still has a key factor on it. I'm not really sure if you want me to tell you what that factor is or not, but uh, that's a factor. And then there's something up with the screws on the bottom. So they're identical, kind of. Yeah. But there's one, if you're a tech and you have torques, you know the difference in mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And then, um, if you look at the sticker, yeah. Milwaukee takes more. Look, look how their sticker is in place. Mm -hmm. And versus, look how they place their sticker. It's not in line. See, I was looking at this. Like, look at this part right here where it says recycle. If I get my camera, now look at the fake one. It's much cleaner. It is. Like they did a better job well, on the red. fake sticker. Both of the stickers are real. Yeah. It's, it's an actual metal sticker on the bottom of both of them. <clears throat> well, that's what I was looking at because really? the one, the real one, the recycle is all blurry like yep. where it's printed and the fake one's clear as a bell. Yep. So just be careful whenever you buy your Milwaukee's. And we had a guy, he got on here and I don't think I have his, his. he bought it from First Monday, which oh, if you're from Mississippi, yeah. you know what First Monday is. I did a video on First Monday. I had to put a card up at the top. But that's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Well, it was, uh, he paid $20 for a battery like this from First Monday. He said, it's real. I know it's real. So Michael starts to look at it and he says, no. And then he's like, well, how do you know? So Michael opens it up and goes to the inside of it. And you can tell, you know, what the difference is on the inside. Because, you know, Milwaukee takes, you know, very... They take pride in their stuff on the inside, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's what they told us at Expo. They That's take, what they tell you, huh? They, they take pride in it, so they do yeah. in-house stuff, as in far as... They need to take stuff. pride in figuring out how to keep them tabs from breaking off in batteries, what they need right to do. Right there, yes. Yeah. I mean, if we're just going to be honest, let's just be honest, you know? If I had to say one thing about Milwaukee batteries, it would be the tab. Yeah. Because there is... And the slop in the 18 volt. I hate it. You're talking about the... Yeah. Like, yeah. I absolutely hate it. Whenever you're impacting it, it just falls like, off. Like, I've got Milwaukee stuff, and it works. But those are two things that drive me absolutely nuts. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, if I had to say, that would probably be the two biggest complaints. But, you know, Milwaukee's coming out with a new battery. I think it's called the Forge. So maybe they fixed all that. But I think they need to come back and revamp these because a lot of people don't want to switch over, you know. But, I mean, I guess that's just preference. Yep. Not opinion. It is. <laughs> well, y'all got this thing full in here. Yeah. Full we tried truck. to. We went to a mega meeting Saturday, so... We're mega meeting. Looks in. like y'all spent some mega bucks. <laughs> Tried to. <laughs> we did win something though there. Michael did while his little raffle of tickets. So we win? haven't got hours in, but I don't know if y'all have seen Blunt these. Stone. Yeah. yeah. So Michael's started carrying them. You know, we carry the red bags. Well, mm -hmm. now we carry these. The difference is these are offered in steel toe through Maco. They're offered in steel toe. The, I think our red backs, we stopped offering those due to supply and demand during. Well, if those you know, Blundstone boots are as good as red backs, they're good boots. Well, we had a distributor who ordered some whenever Maco first started selling them, and he absolutely loves them. And he was a red back fanatic. So, well, I can tell you, whatever them Australians make this sole material out of, yes. it's tough. Like that shit will be here when the apocalypse comes and the next life is created after us. They're gonna find them souls laying everywhere. Oh yeah. And wonder what kind of stuff it is. Well, now these are made from Australia too. Okay. So, but different factory, so different. These have the steel toed, they're got the rubber on them right there. So you know how red back sometimes, you know, it's not made up mm -hmm. a little bit farther. That's why I got so, a hole warm mine. Well, we had a lot of people say flex steel. Yeah. Over the toes. But Redback offers the toe caps, caps yep. too. Absolutely love those. Which Michael has those style and I have the lace up yeah. control style. But now we've all started offering these. Now as far as I know they're all in stock, all different sizes. Sizing's the same way as Redback because it's Australian. Sure. I mean I would give you the part number but I hadn't loaded my computer because it froze on me this Well morning. I know I'm proud I ordered them from y'all because y'all knew about the sizing because I would have got them too big. And a lot of people don't realize that. So Redback is on Amazon. I'll give you that. Because like I said, Amazon's got a little bit of everything. But what they don't tell you on there is, like you said, the sizing. So this is a nine, but in Redback sizing, because they have it right there. So a nine and a half is a 10 and a half US. Yep. So even though you wear a 10 and a half here, over there, you're going to wear a nine and a half. Just like a nine is going to be a ten. Sure. So it just all depends. It's people's preference, I guess. <laughs> I I'm not picky when it comes to shoes, but I can tell you, Michael is. I am so, too. I'm very picky about shoes. Which he's the one that don't ever walk around without shoes. Like I grew up barefoot till winter on the ground. I can't do that. Well, my kids are the same way because I kind of you know maybe go outside. Oh. You could put a million dollars in a bucket across the parking lot and said you can have it if you'll walk over and get it barefoot. I wouldn't even try. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I wouldn't do nothing but make three <laughs> steps and give up. So. Well, see, that was Michael. The, uh, we had something happen. I can't remember exactly what it was, but we had to go across the yard to his mama's house. So her house is kind of catty corner to ours. Well, we, I think it was like a transformer blue or something other where all the power went out and it's like you know in boomble when the power goes out it's just quiet yeah and you can kind of hear people talking because of the way the haulers and stuff are well we were sitting on the couch when it went out so we walked to the backyard to hear it and we struck across the yard because we thought something had happened to his mama because we could hear her right. talking yeah he didn't realize he was barefoot i guess because the adrenaline was going he realized it real quick, so we had to run back across the yard and get his shoes. That's it. But. Well, I know everybody's waiting to find out who won the blue nickel finish Matco ratchet. So I guess we'll do that drawing real quick, and that way that's done. Somebody will be happy, and life's good. So we're going to cut to that real quick. We're going to pick a winner, and that way we can get that done because I know you guys are itching to find out who won that cool ratchet so let's do it all right guys so right now we're going to be drawing for the winner of the matco tools nickel finish 3 8 lock and flex head uh ratchet with the blue handle before we do this drawing i want to be extremely extremely 
extremely clear. There's a lot of people that want to scam somebody. Um, we've had this with every single giveaway we've done on this channel. And like always, if you did not see it on video, it did not happen. I'm not going to send you a message. I don't have a Telegram app. I'm not going to send you a DM or anything on any social media platform. The winners are only announced here. So if you get an email, you get a message, you get a direct message, you get some Telegram app, you get something in the comments tagging you. You did not win if you did not see it on this video. Don't fall for the scams. Don't send any money. Don't do any of that. We pick the winner here live on the video. You guys will see it as it happens. So don't fall for any of the stuff. Um, as always, we'll use a random comment picker. Um, <clears throat> and the way that works, we put the link in and it draws for the winner. The winner will receive this exact ratchet right here that I'm holding in my hand. I will pay for the shipping. I won't ask anybody for any money, all of that stuff. Um, I will require proof that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. It's only fair that if I spend my personal money and I pay for the shipping, the least you could do is be subscribed to this channel. Um, we will be doing a lot more of these giveaways. I am not going to put them in the title of the, the videos. You'll just have to watch because they're going to be completely random. We're not going to do a, an announcement. So it's mainly for the people that want to watch the content on this channel. And that's kind of a reward, a way that I can give back and say thanks to the viewers that have watched the stuff that we posted online. So let's get to it. I'll put a screenshot up here. That way you guys can see exactly what my phone is. It's pickawinner.com. So the way it works, you um, paste the link to the video. You hit fetch. I'm going to not include the replies. Anything goes. And it's going to load all the comments that's on the video. And it's going to pick the winner. And that's who won the ratchet. And it is old man three, three, eight. So old man three, three, eight, eight, sorry. Um, the screenshots here of you, if you will send me an email at coon trucking one Oh one, we will have to verify that it is you because I've also had people try to scam me and claim that they was the person that won when they wouldn't. It's sad that this is the world we live in and it sucks and it's an extra step you have to do. And I apologize for that, but sometimes people just suck. So old man 3388, send me an email at cooncrucking101 at gmail. We'll get all your information. We'll make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll get this ratchet shipped out to you. So let's go back out to the truck and take a look. All right, so there you go. Uh, make sure you follow the instructions on how to get with me and that way we can get your ratchet sent out. And that's how that's gonna work. So, bam, congratulations. So, what uh, what else y'all got new and cool this week? Y'all got a ton of stuff. Like, tons of stuff up here. Well, you know, we have a little bit of, uh, we got that grip edge back in. Michael, you know, he talked about it. Yeah. I'll just go ahead. <laughs> so we had a lot of people, let me see. So this sits like this on our toolbox, okay? Right. You know, if you look at it, you know that you're not going to use it like this. <laughs> just throw that out there. We Somebody have... thought. Yes. Yeah, okay. Bless their soul is all I can say. So I had it up there. And I don't think nothing about it. I'm on the computer looking. Michael's talking to, to somebody over here, and I happen to look up and look at them, and they're sitting there talking to somebody else. Like, how does you know, you know that work? And I was like, I couldn't get help but get tickled. So I'm, I'm I don't even work on vehicles. You said that's for when your ratchet gets stuck on your socket, you can push your ratchet off. You know they might have believed me, but Michael he said just wait. Let's just see if they work it out. And I mean, they take about 10 minutes trying to figure it out, couldn't figure it out. So I was like, well, I want to tell them because I said, it's just, it's just fun yeah, because yeah. I know how to use it, you know? And I'm like, no, I said, you take this and you kind of put it on your bolt or whatever. And then I said, you torque it off, right? 
And I said, when it gets stuck in there, if it gets stuck, I said, you take this and you just push it out. And it was like, a lot long. come on, didn't it? Like, and then they were embarrassed. And I was like, <laughs> well, I wasn't embarrassing you. I just wanted to, I said, I want to be the one to tell you. Yeah. But, I want to learn you something. Exactly. <laughs> and that's like the, uh, we have the 3D one over here too. I think it's funny. They'll actually, it's normally sitting right here, but right. because of our Mississippi roads, I don't like to leave it there because I don't want it to break. They come on here and they think it's real. And they said, God, what, what size is that? That's the first question is what size Holy is that? Holy cow, what size is that thing? I said, no, I said, that's not, that's not what you do. I said, that's kind of the opposite of those extractors. I said, you take this and I said, you pop <laughs> it. And I said, you get it out and then you push your bolt off. Yep. And it's like, again, light bulb goes off. That's it. So. You're just teaching all kind of stuff to people. Like, <laughs> we'll be up to speed for long around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's just funny because they don't realize that I know how to use some of the stuff. So right. they associate, if Michael's not standing back here with me by my side, that mm -hmm. I wouldn't know how to use some of it. I said, I know how to Google. I know how to do a little bit of research on stuff. You know, it's funny, like, because I, I study tools and know a lot about tools and try to research new tools and stuff, you yeah. know. So everybody just assumes that my wife don't know nothing about tools. Like, for some reason, that's like, they assume that, right? Yep. Yeah, she can embarrass some, some people that's been in the tool game a long, long time. Because we was watching a video the other day and this one guy was like, this tool's made by so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. She's like, no, it's not. Like, I just stopped right there. I was like, I have succeeded in creating a woman that knows tools. Exactly. I mean, so. what do they think she does in the meantime whenever you're, you know? Mm -hmm. So if any of you tool companies need somebody to run your tool program, I know a gal. Well, I know, I actually have two of them, honestly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully, you had fun today and had a good time. Learned a little something, and there you go. We got a little edu education going on. Yeah, it's Mississippi. It's education. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. If y'all like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.